The concept of arts classes in your front room is about as unprecedented as the specific material being worked here today. But what is silver clay? So silver clay is a manufactured material um, that was invented in Japan in the 90s. And basically it has um, recycled silver particles. So the silver is recycled from all over the place, like x-rays, the photographic industry, all kinds, like mobile phones, anywhere they can, they can reclaim it from. It has an organic binder in it to bind it together. Um, and then a bit of water to make it like a clay. So that means we can shape it in a very different way to very traditional silver, which is you know, like a sheet um, and a hard metal sheet. So it's easier to work with in a lot of ways because it's, it's moldable and it's shapeable and all of that kind of stuff. Um, with more traditional silversmithing, um, it can be quite a physical job actually. There's a lot of hammering and sawing and you know, it's quite a physical thing. So it's, it's just a different way of working with the silver. Generally, you know, the more traditional methods are the things that people think about. But it is a bit more, as I say, a bit more accessible. Um, it's better for people who maybe have mobility issues or, you know, have, have issues with health and things like that. It also, you don't need a lot of equipment for it as well. It's very easy to do things at home um, and just, you know, you don't need an awful lot of space and equipment and money to be able to kind of get, get started. And that ease of getting started is underpinned by the relaxed atmosphere established in this domestic space. I think it's a mixture of things. I think there's a lot of people nowadays that are looking just to get something more creative in their lives. Get a break from the internet, their mobile phones, whatever. And I think the home environment appeals just because it isn't formal and there is, it's okay to come and sit and relax and chill and take some time out. Um, and I think it just is non-threatening as well. It's not like if you're, my daughter particularly always wanted to encourage people who might be, think they're not creative, think they're not arty, to come and join in. And I, she felt that being in a home environment rather than a formal learning environment might encourage that. And I think that happens. Definitely. You know, that we do get people here who go, I'd never have come to something like this. And so I think people say, oh, this is nice, it's a private home, it's not open to the public, it's a bit different, it's a, you know, it's a bit off the beaten track. So for those looking to melt hearts with gilded gifts, it might not be necessary to look beyond the front room. Ian McNally, That's TV.